So, this is the first audio recording that I'm doing for any of my speed paints. Uh, I don't have any fancy equipment or anything like that, so please bear with me if there are any pops or like random noises in the background. Uh, let's see, first off, hi, my name's AJ, or also known as Ukami Hanta, and you are watching a speed paint of my original character, Opal. That's about all I have in my script, so... <laughs> Everything from now on will just be uh, improv, yeah. So first of the reason why I have this audio recording um, instead of the usual just typical non-copyrighted music is because first off, it's I f thought my editing program with the basic non-copyrighted uh, music was what it is, you know, non-copyrighted. But apparently, on my last speed paint, um, I got a copyright strike on the music in the background. So that's like my second strike on my account already. So I figured um, I might not want to risk getting that third strike again by using some music in my editing um, program. So yeah, that's why you're hearing my voice <laughs> instead of the typical um, repeated loops basic music, you know, in the background. I've been meaning to just create my own uh, custom audio, or not custom audio, but like music that's not just some basic jingles and stuff like that. And just, you know, like auto-tune it to the point where you can't like, YouTube won't copyright it. But that, I don't like that kind of stuff really so and it's too much work with the editing program that i have and it's i have a very um basic editing program which is just a, a video editor that came on my laptop so yeah just chopping up music anything like that is too much effort so we're getting this audio <laughs> instead um if you guys like this kind of thing or like I feel like making more audio where it's just me talking about stuff um, over my speed paints, I'll do more, but I doubt I will since it does take longer for me to get these out by doing that. Speaking of taking longer on, spe on speed paints though, this speed paint took me forever to get rendered and um, to get it uploaded on my editor because for some reason my laptop did not like the videos that I had recorded. It kept on restarting and shutting down because it couldn't handle the my files that I was trying to upload. So it was a real pain to get that done and finish, but thankfully it I got it somehow. And yeah, so that's about all I have to say about the video in general. Um, I guess I could talk about the character more. Uh, well, her name is, yeah, as I stated before, her name is Opal. Her full name is Opal Von Valois. I think it's pronounced Valois at least. Um, I kind of just picked it up from Google. Like, <laughs> so how I usually get my names for my characters, I think of an idea or concept or a theme that goes along with them and I try to find things that go with it or otherwise the name is just something random that has nothing to do with anything and I just felt like giving it to my character. Well for Opal, she's meant to be this, you know, this princess and knight from what you would probably consider like, um, like the early 1900th century like kingdoms in Europe, you know, so your typical um, medieval era, I guess you could say. But her kingdom per se is not medieval-like, but it is ran, or I guess the aesthetic is more medieval rather than modern, as you can tell by her character design. Um, well, anyways, going back to her name, Valois, it was, it was actually a name I picked up for from Wikipedia <laughs> that listed um, European like uh, kings and queens. I don't remember which one it was specifically, but it was something along those lines. And I just picked it up for her. Um, but any relations to anybody with that last name, it's not 
relevant because I really just, I literally just picked it up and was like, okay, we're giving it to you. See, like first names are already difficult to choose and make for your character. The last name is even harder. And yeah, going back to Opal herself, she is a princess and she's also a knight despite her appearance. Uh, her appearance, I guess, is the, the main point of that is that it's misleading her appearance and her being not just a knight, but also the head knight in her uh, kingdom. Um, I had to change up her story a bit recently because her original status in the story I had in mind, she was, she still had the same position as a princess and as a knight, but it wasn't as fleshed out as I have it now. So that's why I've been drawing her a lot, actually. If you go to any of my other social medias, which I'll plug down in the description, you'll see that all I've been posting is her. And so now that I have a more developed story for her and, you know, everything is fleshed out more, even her personality is better now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I've just been thinking about her a lot. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's also one of the reasons why I actually managed to sit down and get through this um, drawing. It took me about a day, a little bit over a day maybe, to get it done between work and school. So there, if you see jumps in this speed paint, it's because it is done over a complete entire day and so on. So, yeah, sorry. I know I get a little wonky at the end, but hopefully... <laughs> Um, it's not too bad. So yeah, but we love hyperfixiations because this is, that's the only way I get through any of these drawings these days. Because if it's not, um, a hyperfixiation, then is it really like worth putting effort into my art? That's, that's kind of how I've been feeling a lot these days. Uh, Lately, a lot of my art has been just sketches and things I've done when I have the free time way late at night after I come home from work. So I'm really happy with how this drawing of Opal came out. And I really hope I can find the energy and time to do more with the effort I put into this. But I seriously doubt it. So um. That also brings up, like, you know, how often I'll upload a speed paint or something like that. Um, there won't be a lot of times where I will update frequently, you know, because I just, I only really do it for myself. I like seeing speed paints of my own work. So, honestly, I probably will not post very often, especially because I don't think I have a lot of art worth posting speed paints for. So unless I have, say, like a nice um, commission somebody wants me to do or I feel like putting the effort in, into a nice drawing, I probably won't have speed paints and especially speed paints with me talking over them. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what else can I say? Oh, well, I guess I can talk a little bit more about Opal, so... Oh, and talking about, okay, so this opal here, this design you're seeing, it's a revamped design of her. I did draw opal, like, an original one a while ago. I would say maybe half a year ago. And her design back then, um, it wasn't bad per se, but after a while, I just did not like it anymore. And there were things about it that... I kept and you know I still integrated into Opal's new design here but mainly the things that changed were the amount of details for one and secondly just um her overall color scheme. Opal's color scheme used to be this really ugly looking like pastel purple that bordered on pink and I also threw in some dark blues in there. And she still has the same colored hair, skin, and like eyes, but it was mainly her dress and her accessories that clash really hard with everything else. So I ended up changing all of that into a, a more um, consistent color scheme that worked better together, which is just the blues. And I'm really happy with how that came out because 
any other ones. Um, yeah, that purple just was not working out for her. And um, if you go see some other art of her, you'll see what I'm talking about with the purples. Yeah. Um, and then I did keep some other elements like the boob window and um, the puff sleeves and the darkened socks and um, oh, what's that called? Like the gloves? I'm not sure if that's what you would call it, but you know what I mean, like her arms are dark and so is her legs. Yeah, that little um, shaded like socks and stuff like that I kept in her design as well. And um, oh, and then the most important part though, you know, it's that if also with other art, you'll see that I would draw Opal with this really, really big sword of hers that she carries around. And um, for funsies, I, ha I say that Opal keeps her dress, uh, not her dress, she keeps her sword hidden in her dress. So like she could just be walking around just fine and dandy, but she can pull out that sword anytime she wants from underneath her skirt. And I just think that's, that's neat. There is no story or um, realistic element that goes into that. I just, I just think it's cool. And yeah. So, um, what else can I say? There, are, oh, I also kept the shoes the same. You can't see it in many of my older Opal arts where you see the original design, but Opal, um, I've kept her shoes, uh, with her heels. I see the, her shoes are based off, are supposed to be metal. Like they're supposed to be this, um, type of material that is metallic and is supposed to clink everywhere she walks around. So. And it's like, and like heels already do kind of do that clunky noise anywhere you go, but hers are meant to be a very distinct, like metal clashing against the like floor basically. And so that's what I was going for with her heels and her heels are actually, and was inspired by this one Instagram post I saw where the heels had like a bunch of like beaded jewelry hanging off of it. And I just thought that was so pretty, so I made sure Opal had that because that's what she deserves. And um, I also added more sparkles to her dress, like her outfit in general, actually, more so than um, her original outfit. Her original outfit didn't really have anything on her dress besides the little um, like bow ties hanging off of them, like you see here in the drawing. And I really do like the glitter aspect. I just realized how much it was a pain to actually implement <laughs> into the drawing. Um, afterwards, that's all. And her hair was kept the same. It was, it's, you can't see it here in this drawing, but her hair has these two really long braided, like, um, ponytails, basically. Well, not ponytails, it's just braids, but, um, yeah, she has two twin braids hanging down her back. Her hair is very long. I just, I just think she looks better with longer hair, but I guess, you know, I guess I can see in the future her possibly cutting her hair, but for now it's long and it's in that braid. Uh, let's see. I also added more accessories to her head before she didn't have that, um, those roses and that, and that little, uh, crowned, uh, half crown around her head before. Before it was like this kind of made headdress with the little tiara part sticking out of it. I didn't, that, the made headdress was meant to complement the little frills that she has on her dress, but I realized I did not like it that much whenever I was actually putting it in her character. And like I was trying to draw it and I realized I did not like how that looked. So I ended up changing it to roses to make it look like aesthetically pleasing and whatnot. And I do like it better than the maid headdress, so. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.